Little 19 foot Surveyor Hybrid Ultralight Camper just came in here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. About 3,600 pounds, just about on the nose. That gets you on the road with this one here. So pretty much anything uh, with a tow package uh, should be, you know, able to handle something like this. That's kind of what one of the nice parts about it. A lot of smaller lightweights are going to be on a single axle. This being a tandem, it will provide a superior towing experience because it's not going to be as inclined to wiggle behind you going down the road. Now what's cool is you're only towing a 19 foot camper going down the road, but because the beds stick off of the floor plan, you don't have to eat up floor space for those. So you're towing a 19 foot camper, but uh, you, you get like a, I don't know, 26 foot ish camper when you get to your destination. That's what's kind of nice about it here. Surveyors are um, a, uh, a lightweight line for surveyors had around for a long time and they continue to perform pretty well. Um, the uh, only reason this one's here is the folks that owned it, they were just getting a little bit older and the whole bed end thing was just becoming a little more than they wanted to manage. Um, and that kind of leads in the fact that other than just needing a bath, this one's pretty much ready to go. The interior is really nice. The outside is just needing a little bath from storage because they haven't used it as much as they want to. That's why they're swapping her out. Now I have noticed uh, a little bit of um, delamination on this skin right here, but this is not soft from uh, water damage it's just simply from twisting torsional stress and uh, and the sun beating on it basically the rear wall does have a couple spots where it's bubbled just minor and it's it's so minor you're probably not even seeing it here in this video but remember that we are just as nitpicky as you if we were going to spend our thousands of dollars then we would want to know all the ins and outs of the trailer as well um, so, you know, we do like to represent this accurately. So to keep the weight down and the structure up, this is 100% laminated. A lot of lightweights with fiberglass skin, only the sidewalls are laminated. On this one though, even the roof, everything, every single square inch of the exterior walls on this are fully laminated. That's what helps keep this thing light and strong. You have some good storage in here. I love the inclusion of this little pantry here. And all this shelving is adjustable. You can move those shelves around wherever you want to kind of customize the space to your needs. A lot of uh, smaller hybrids are going to have a smaller five cubic foot fridge. This has a full six, which is when you start to get the separate freezer and separate fridge. Um, the uh, big closet right here, you know, that's the tricky part with hybrids is you don't have room around a queen bed to throw a wardrobe closet. So they have to get creative and use it in different ways. And I like that this is really tall. It gives your space to have like a little broom in here just to brush it out real quick because this is all linoleum flooring, no carpeting. So that's going to be easier to manage. Um, over here in the kitchen, we also have another big pantry space. So, you know, you can sleep uh, four to six people in here pretty easy. You got to be able to feed them and this one can do that. This does have a full-size napping couch that a grown person can actually lay on and kick back for a little bit. Um, in the uh, bathroom, there is a power vent fan. Here in the living room, there is just kind of like a little cross breeze vent. Uh, front, was that a king? Rear, queen, or full, something like that. Um, a little dinette here. What's cool about the dining table, it's a freestanding table. So if you want to use this like a picnic table outside and then just use the bench like a lounge, you can do that. You see the packet here. This is all the original owner's manuals and whatnot, so they, they obviously kept track of their stuff. They didn't let things just go into a state of disrepair. Again, beyond just a quick exterior bath, which frankly, almost any used travel trailer could benefit from, this thing's ready to go. The canvas all looks good. Um, I don't see any uh, irregular or extreme like spotting or anything like that. Everything looks pretty good on this one here. Um, air conditioning to keep you cool, furnace to keep you warm. Good spring, summer, fall camper right here. Now, uh, if you're ever wondering, if you look around and you see all these little dryer sheets, these are doing the same thing that mothballs would do, but instead of uh, smelling like grandma's closet, they smell outdoor fresh. Um, you know, so uh, that, that keeps the critters out, it keeps the bugs out, but it doesn't make your camper smell like an antique closet, you know. Um, I like the fact that we have a stove top cover here and the fitted sink covers, because first of all, these things are thick and heavy duty. I mean, these are legitimate. But, uh, you know, these are what I call the equalizer. Ladies, if the husband gets out of line, just whack him with one of these and he'll get back in line, trust me. Um, and gentlemen, if you're watching this, just ignore that. Anyway, um, the, uh, you know, all of your storage space down here, very good for like bigger pots, pans, things like that. Now, uh, they do have these handy little pull-out tote type things here, which is a classic thing um, that is actually starting to make a comeback in the RV industry because it is so multifaceted. You can use them like drawers, like totes. 
um, you know, they're, they're waterproof, so you can really scrub them out and wash them out. You can do a lot of things with them here. Um, you know, good storage space all the way around. Um, let's see here. Rear bed, again, nothing fancy. This is a full for sure, not a queen. But, uh, I mean, look at the, the padding in this. It's still, still up to snuff. You know, that, that's, that's good quality. The uh, bathroom in here, um, you know, small and minimal, but it's a 19-foot camper. You know, they don't have 35 feet to build a big bathroom. What I like to point out is that we still have a full skylight here as well as the bigger Creative Breeze fan. And even this extra little storage pocket up here, they used every square inch they could in this thing. Um, you know, all in all, very nice camper. Give it a bath, take it down the road, that's all it takes. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.